Hey guys, it's Naked MTN here once again with a new video. But sorry guys for the reason, like I haven't been uploading for three days, but last video broke 500 likes, I think. I don't know, we were very close anyhow, I'm not really sure. It's got like 20k views, which is just absolutely insane. So thank you guys for the great support on that video. But today we have an unturned update and something very, very interesting that I feel like is probably the coolest thing in this update because this is gonna be very useful for RP videos in the future and I already have great videos planned to make to use this in videos but probably elite or fudge or any other unturned rp youtuber will probably do it before me but i will see if i can do this i have it in this crate this is the first thing you can find on the additions it's basic oh i didn't even put it in the crate how lazy am i well we have the blindfold with with the id 1464 and it takes two slots in your inventory this is how it looks on you and when you have it on yourself it's completely dark and you can't go in third person you won't see anything in third person or first person and this is very cool i'm not sure if you can put this on on anyone else uh, but i'm pretty sure you can't uh, let's see if i can bind it oh you can I'm pretty sure you can put this on someone else because you can bind this with normal clothing like a bandana for an example You can't, can't really bind it to like a hotkey or something. So just basically equip this Where you can right click and press 3 or right click and press equip and just right click on someone and you will basically place it on them So we're about to announce this down in the right corner. I just removed them I had to record this with like window capture on OBS So I can't really just record the game itself if I go in this position and I press 3 and equip it. It does co be, it's completely dark. So if even if you're admin, you can't see anything with a blindfold on. And what I think is you probably put on handcuffs on someone. And they probably can't remove the blindfold. Perhaps they can't even remove it normally. I have no clue really. I have no friends to try it out with. So unfortunately, I can't do that. Another thing that is very, very interesting in this update. Uh, you can see all over Hawaii here. We do have, I don't know if you can see it on the map. You should be able to see a bit. But I know, let's see, not monarchy. Here we have a cave, and we do have new caves. And Nelson added more caves onto Hawaii, so there will definitely be more Easter eggs or future Easter eggs, because we know in Russia there was a pretty cool Easter egg. It was the, what was it called? Was it the Soul Crystal? I am not completely sure. And you could find a Mark II um, Shadow Stalker, which was a pretty powerful gun in my opinion. Um, I guess something like that will be in Hawaii, but not for the moment. He will probably be revealing clues and shit, so we can actually explore more. We could solve this Easter egg that will probably be here in the future. As far as I know, we don't have any achievement at all that can lead to, like, because if you do an Easter egg, you will probably unlock unlock a achievement, and there's no achievement yet added. At least, we're not what I know. The next one is very, very cool. I will have to spot in a plane here real quick. Let me do that. I don't think that, that's no plane, that's a fucking bus. I, I want to get the otter, I think it is, with 96. Here we go. I'm just quickly just gonna grab this and fly to Alika base. Yeah, we're gonna crash this, I think. No, we're not. Oh, come on. We can do it. Oh, dude, I'm such a pro at flying. You guys, leave a like for that fucking... No, I'm not gonna be greedy. That's actually a new cave right here. Uh, so, the first cave I see is down here we will be exploring all the caves on a stream that is gonna be instantly after this video has been uploaded or not instantly like 15 minutes after that this video has been up so make sure to stay tuned it's gonna be here on youtube and uh, what i'm gonna try to find here at the leaka base is the new coast guard mega zombie yes you heard it right nelson added a coast guard mega zombie to the map and i think it's gonna be pretty cool so i will see you guys in a second when i'm at the leaka base and we could check it out Together. So here we go. I had to restart a couple of times and teleport to Alika base. But here we go. This is the new Mega Zombie. It's not very different to the Mega Zombies themselves. But this is just, you know, uh, the co with the Coast Card skin. Uh, I think I will try to approach it and see if it has any special attack styles or whatever. So I guess we're gonna do that. It was over here. You can see it. It's exactly like the super zombies or mega zombies as they are called i'm sorry um just super mega zombie we're gonna try to approach this and see what it does i just think it's gonna throw a rock on us honestly let's see um yeah don't throw that rock at me mister don't do that to punch oh fuck dude ah <laughs> uh, oh shit yeah I'm, I'm i'm so dead yeah okay 
Yeah, let, just kill me, Basic. Basi. Fuck. Then as well, when connecting to the server, sometimes, like, when you're gonna connect to, for example, let's say, I would connect to Springer's RP here, and they have a custom mod installed, I think they made it so you only have to add the mods file on the server, this is the server side, if you don't understand what I mean, basically the guy who's hosting the server only has to put the mods link in a file in the server's files, I don't know what to call it. Uh, basically it will load the mods onto the server side instead of having to download it client side basically meaning that you will probably have an easier time connecting to a server it won't take as long because it won't take as long downloading the mods themselves there was nothing super major in this update besides the workshop changes with basically installing mo custom mods to the servers. But that was pretty much the things I wanted to mention in this video. The blindfold, the new caverns, or the new cavern, the big cavern, and a few more caves, and basically the new mega zombie. They also updated some foliage details on Hawaii. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll be live here on YouTube in just a little moment, exploring some caves. So I hope I will see each and every one of you there. Stay coffee, make sure to slap the subscribe button, and I'll catch ya in the next one, everyone. Oh, bye bye! <laughs>